Look at the um, seagull feet prints. Oh! <gasps> really sinking in. I guess it's a little dangerous after a while. That black mold or something. That's when the um, organic or ingredients rot in the clay and that makes it really plastic, really good. It can't dry out though. If it dries out, you have to start all over. But in this state, it's super good. I've always really been interested in the process and kind of undermining or tinkering with it, you know, pushing it to the limits of the material. You make it instantaneously and it has all the history of your hand, you know, reflects everything. What you know, what you don't know, how you touch things. And then you it. It goes through this whole process. It takes so long. Well, you always get some satisfaction at each stage. So I always have to have many things going at many stages. So I feel encouraged to continue. There's always been a kind of urgency about my work. There's always been a kind of urgency about me. I have a very unwholesome relationship with this building and this room. I'm here just about every day. One of the things that's run through Annabeth's work from the beginning is a really lively sense of surface, color, pattern, a kind of precarious sense of balance, of things being brought together that don't exist altogether comfortably, and of a kind of pent-up energy. There's a force inside that sculpture that is um, just on the edge of being dangerous. I don't give a shit about balance. I think it's fucking stupid. You can't balance. You don't balance. Humans are not balanced. Humans are fucked up, ambiguous, crazy. Balance. It's a bullshit idea. It's like heaven or it's like, you know, it just doesn't exist. Okay, wadding gets ditched. This is going to be exciting. 
one of the things I love is that you're so kind of open to experimenting with it and that you're allowing your ideas to kind of change and stuff. Mm -hmm. What do you think about it? I think that's really important. You don't have to be wedded to the one thing all the time, forever. Yeah. As you learn things, use it. And let it just grow. Really yeah. Organically, not so systematic and rigid. You know? Yeah. Just let it flow. <laughs> yeah, you can let it flow. Are you from California? Yeah, you let it flow. No, I'm good. Okay, come, just come get me if they seem to struggle or something comes up. Okay. Okay, thanks for this morning, Brian. I can't get over how hard it is to work in ceramic. Just making the simplest thing is so much harder than it looks. It's funny, that's it's what Dan said. He goes, this visiting artist who is visiting, he goes, I'm a painter, you know, I make a mark, I go lay down. I make another <laughs> mark, I go get a cup of coffee. I make another mark, I check my email. I make another mark, I take a little nap. He says, I stand from 8 o'clock in the morning till 6 o'clock at night. He says, I'm exhausted. Yeah. <laughs> I was laughing. And the clay, I mean, it, it, it's... It's heavy. Well, it's heavy, but it also is like drying when you don't want it to dry, or it's not dry enough when you need it to be drier. And, you know, parts of it will break off just because of its own weight. There's so much, I don't know, it's so unpredictable. The surface of these is so beautiful. I don't think it's by accident that Annabeth works with ceramic. And there's a real paradox of ceramic being both this everlasting, seemingly everlasting kind of um, material, but also such a fragile one that um, it's so easy to shatter a vase or a pot or a sculpture. <laughs> These are the you know, the criteria, the canon of ceramics. You know, if it's broken, it's bad. Um, but for me, like a lot of broken, you know, the, you know, a shard can be a pretty potent promise of something, you know. Just a little bit of something can be more exciting sometimes than the thing itself. Like, you know, Nothing can be working, and I can be blowing up things left and right, and I'll get some tiny little piece of shit out of the kiln, you know. And that can keep me going for like the next six weeks. No one gets away without experiencing the death of someone or something they love more than anything. People are so vulnerable and people are so fragile and we forget. Everything we have and know and hold dear is so ephemeral. Things do not exist for long.